What's up, y'all? It's Timmy. And today I'm taking you to see one of my favorite bands, Days and Days, and also the Bridge City Sinners play a show in Phoenix, Arizona. And we're going to go hang out with them. And uh, that's about it. Welcome to Truck House Live, baby. people we are in phoenix arizona we're gonna stay tonight at the neighborhood walmart right here in the parking lot so that's where i'm sleeping i'll see you in the morning so we're on our way to a little breakfast spot Two here miles. take exit 34 for scottsdale road there you go we're on our way to get some breakfast in phoenix arizona i gotta do a little bit of catch up do some laundry get a shower do all those things that you need to do at some point and i'm gonna be meeting up with uh, days and days later tonight what there's freaking cactuses cactuses and palm trees guys this is crazy look at that cactus middle of the road well, we're gonna go check out this place called snoozers or something like that it's supposed to be a good uh breakfast hollandaise spot feeling like some hollandaise this morning all right there it is snooze we're going in let's go get some hollandaise We have arrived in Mesa, Arizona, where the show is being held at the Nile Theater tonight. But uh, first thing I'm gonna do is go find the public swimming pool and go take a shower. So I'm gonna start my day like that. I also, unfortunately, lost control of my drone because there's high winds and it hit a cliff and died. So I had to go buy another drone from Best Buy. That kind of sucked. I just blew seven hundo dollars, but uh, it makes for good footage, as you guys know. So. I've invested in the drone just for you guys. So when I typed public swimming pool into Google Maps, it just took me to a freaking high school, so I can't go take a shower in the high school pool. That'd be weird, probably. So, no shower for me today. Oh, whatever, it's already been a week anyway. I'll just stop at a pilot gas station on my way out of town is the plan. So I'm just gonna head on all the way down into Mesa and uh, go see where the Nile is ahead of time, because that's probably smart. Uh, make sure there's enough parking for this big rig there. And uh, I'm gonna go hit a coffee shop, do a little bit of work for a while, but we're in Mesa right now. All right, I think it's right here somewhere. The Nile, they say. All right, here we are outside the Nile. All right, y'all, I'm just outside of the Nile. Beat days and days in the van here, I'm assuming. I just fired up my uh, portable air conditioner inside. And I have this uh, micro air easy start uh, wired in, so it doesn't use as much juice when the air conditioner turns over. And this freaking 700 watt uh, power station that Blue Eddie sent me is actually powering it right now. So the compressor just started up. It's pulling 430 something watts. It's a lot of power. So it's not gonna last long, but I just wanna use it for 30 minutes to cool the place down. It's uh, 62 inside. And you guys can't see the temperature gauge out there in the porch, but it's just over 90 degrees, so I'm pretty good in here. For those of you guys that don't know who Days and Days are, they're an awesome folk punk band, make some incredible original music, really talented musicians, and just awesome people in general to hang out with. And back in 2018, I was looking to uh, bring a really solid band up to play a really fun show at uh, the Six Mile Creek Whitewater and Bluegrass Festival, the festival I threw up in Alaska and uh, I invited them up and told them I'd set up like a nice tour for them and just take them to all the most epic bars we have up there and we did that so our band the Shoot Dings toured with Days and Days up there and we just opened up for them just for fun you know had an awesome week and a half two weeks with them this is the first time I've seen them in like three years so it'd be cool to catch up with everyone Whitney one of their main singers and uh, songwriters uh, she just had wrist surgery like three days ago or something crazy so I don't think she's gonna be here tonight unfortunately but it would be awesome to see Jesse and Megan and Jeff and just chill and then uh, the Bridge City Centers are also playing so I've never seen them or met any of them I think it'd be a pretty fun night I was supposed to open up for them in Denver Colorado but uh, I've got to leave my RV here and go back and take care of some uh, family business for a little bit I'm not gonna be able to go all the way it's Colorado so maybe I'll be opening tonight maybe not I don't even care it would just be good to see him and Watch him do it. 
<laughs> about a 20. Yeah. Mess you up. Thank you guys for holding it down tonight. Great. All right, y'all. Uh, I guess they uh, they made it, but I wasn't able to get in touch with them beforehand. But I'm in there, front and center, baby, checking her out. It's time to go back in. <laughs>
everybody. Days and days show's over. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'll tell you later. Cool, I'm behind uh, days and days right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was just out eating some uh, super late dinner in the parking lot after the show and uh, Veronica happened upon me and gonna happen upon everyone else. So uh, I'm gonna go to, I guess it's one of Jesse's old friends. Uh, days and days, one of the front men. What was I saying? Lost my train of thought. Anyway, we're going to our friend's house of theirs. That's what's going on. They're gonna let me park there, so that's sweet. It's been a fun night. That's about it, I guess. Well, that's a wrap, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you wanna see more of my content, I'll do stuff uh, every week on video. We'll see you next time. Peace, y'all.